files burial using the nib or drag method. So for simplicity purposes for this demonstration, I will use lamps uh, to calculate the files barrier. Moreover, I will use the drag method. So for drag method, we know that you have to constrain in the hyperplane your coordinates. Uh, so we get start with this particular geometry shown over here. And you can see it's a quadruple cell with four screw dislocations with plus minus B, the stress, the stress is zero. There. And uh, it has already been oriented in the Z direction using the Atomis code. And you can visit the Atomis website and the scaling over here, I have used 11, 15 in the X and Y direction to expand the supercell. And these are the settings over here. Now, I have already obtained the initial and final position. So they have been uniformly translated along the 112 direction by one rate spacing. This is also shown in the Weinberger paper. You can see they have used for tantalum and the dipole cell. But the extension to, to this result is straightforward. You can convert your cell using the Lietel paper. It's shown over here. Using this construction. Now, to go further, to create the, to interpolate the images between initial and final position. And we are using the ACE code. So to interpolate between the initial and the final position, you can use the tangent method and the linear. So over here I have, I will run this script. And you can see it's the files has been generated between the initial and the final part. So you can see from the initial and the final position. Now, after creating this file, and uh, this is the automated scripts the directory has already been created so I'm using the lamps method over here so I and I'm using the snap potential 2006 and over here I'm relaxing the forces on the atoms only in the X and Y direction not in the Z direction so you have to remember this is the drag method which is simple to use but you have to constrain so in our case particularly in the Z direction it's fixed but in the X and Y direction the dipole is, or the quadrupole is uniformly translating along the x direction so the z axis is fixed so we have to relax in the x and y direction and after running this calculation i have already done it and you can see over here the path is created and the corresponding energies are in electron volt per berger vector and if you see the paper by one berger this they have shown for the Zog potential EM. So there is a one metal stable state. But for DFT calculation using the drag method, there is one single hump. In our case, after evaluating, you can also see that there is only one hump. And the energy is more or less the same. But we are using the different potential. It will be, of course, diff uh, different. So that's it for this tutorial today, thank you.